Hello guys, this is James from Golden Shiny Trading. In this video, I will introduce you three main markets in EU. So let's go to China first, and then we go to Eastern Province, Zhejiang, and then go to Jinghua City, where EU is one of Jinghua's administrative region. Now finally, we arrive EU City. As we can see from top right map, it's not a very big city, but it's very important city to China, even to the world in trade business. Now first, market here is EU production materials market. This market mostly selling different types of manufacturing machines. Second is Huangyuan garment market, where you can purchase various ready-made clothes for every age people. Now time to go to today's topic, EU international market, also known as EU Futian market or EU commodity market. Look at these yellow push pins here. There are five districts from district 1 to 5. Okay, let me brief you guys one by one. This is district 1 that has 5 block from A to E. On the right is newly built district 1 east area. Next is district 2. That is F block. Next here is still district 2, but it's G block. We go up north a little is district 3. Now keep it up. Here is district 4. To the right, is district 5. Check here. Okay, totally 5 districts make up EU international trade market. Now you have a clear idea what comprised of this one of the biggest markets in the world. In this video, I'm going to show you the F section in district 2. Here are guide maps for you to check where is where if necessary. The main products on this floor are ponchos, packing, umbrellas, bags, suitcase. Follow us to different streets, then you will get a picture about what shops are selling on the first floor. We've been dealing with many customers. Here we pick up three questions that concern many customers before they start order in the market. First, about the lead time. The whole leading time varies slightly depending on its product attributes, specific details of parts and estimated quantities. But more often than not, the lead time is approximately from 5 days to 30 days or so. If they keep components in stock, then the leading time can always be shortened into one week. But keep in mind that you might be replaced by your competitors if you don't move fast. When it comes to the lead time, a very important factor should be considered. That's the deposit. Please remember that Chinese suppliers want to start purchasing materials until the deposit hits on their bank account. Second, about MOQ. Yeah, you might have heard EU market accepts a small MOQ, but does it really happen there? It depends. You might come across a supplier who accepts one carton only, but at the next storefront, chances are that you get stunned by the hefty MOQ requirements. But why? The answer lies in whether they have a stock or not. If yes, they will accept one carton MOQ. But remember that the Chinese suppliers are happy to do small business, but they want to make it themselves too. On the contrary, if they have not any stock, the supplier will ask for a higher MOQ because they need to produce it, even make molds, draw specific designs, and uh, such stuff. What's more, their subcontractors have their own MOQ requirements. When we pull those together, the final MOQ comes as no surprise. 3. What if my order can't reach a container volume? Don't worry about that, your market has developed a special global logistics system. As a professional export company, contact us and let us deal with those hassles. We will help you prepare necessary documents and consolidate your cargo with many other buyers into one container, send your goods to designated warehouse and one month later, your goods will arrive at your site safely. At the same time, buyers share the sea free together. It saves you a lot of money. Welcome to contact us for importing goods from China. Thanks for watching.